Okay, so if you want to understand algebra, well, you have to be able to solve algebra word problems. And that's what we're going to be practicing in this video. But let me go ahead and give you an opportunity to solve this algebra word problem all on your own. And here is the problem. Uh, ben has $1.75 in nickels and quarters. He has twice as many nickels as he does quarters. How many of each coin does he have? Now, of course, I kind of abbreviated the problem here so I can kind of fit in nice and neat. But uh, that is the problem, okay? Now, again, you're going to want to use algebra to figure this thing out and feel free to use a calculator. But uh, if you could solve this algebra word problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, we are going to go over how to solve an algebra word problem. And this type of problem, i.e. a uh, problem involving money, quarters, dimes, nickels, and stuff, uh, any type of coin, is a very typical type of algebra word problem. So you definitely uh, are going to want to stick around to see how this is done. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here is the problem again. We're looking for um, how many nickels and uh, quarters uh, Ben has, and here is the answer. Okay, so he has 10 nickels and five quarters. Quarters. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that's very, very good. Matter of fact, we must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face on A+, plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional certified expert when it comes to solving basic algebra word problems. And again, I would say uh, this particular problem isn't the most complex. Okay, there's easier types of algebra word problems, but I would say this is kind of an average difficulty uh, in terms of uh, you know being an algebra word problem. There's certainly much more challenging problems, but this is a again a very classic, typical type of problem. So if you're taking any sort of math course that involves algebra, you're going to want to know how to do this type of problem. Okay, now with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, solution. And the first thing you do when you uh, face any math word problem, whether it's algebra or anything else, is you need to read the problem. Now, a lot of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's, you know, you know, so don't waste my time. Of course, I know I need to read the problem. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. You need to read the problem at least three times. I think people read and, you know, uh, most of us, including myself, when you read something, yeah, oftentimes we don't, we're not truly engaged, okay? You have to be highly focused uh, when you are doing mathematics, okay? And the best way to make sure you've got the information is to read the problem more than a few times, all right? So getting into the habit of reading the problem once, reading it again, really kind of getting a better, better picture. And then the last time you read it, make sure you understand the question. And the question here is how many... Uh, nickels and quarters does Ben have, okay, under these circumstances. So that is the first obvious thing. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do is to establish some sort of model, okay? You want to create a model for this word problem. You want to visualize it, visualize it in some way, and that's where you can be a little bit creative, but I'm going to kind of give you a little bit more of an outline here uh, to solve an algebra word problem. Okay, so uh, let's just kind of just do a quick um, outline here. So the first thing is going to read this thing at least three times, any word problem. The second thing is, once you understand the question, you're going to try to create some sort of model. Now, oftentimes you cannot, um, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, a creative process. Sometimes you really can't create a model. Sometimes it's, you know, obvious you can kind of visualize it, sketch it out, but that's what you're going to want to do. The third thing you're going to do is because we are talking about algebra is you're going to be thinking about a variable. You're going to assign a variable or variable to represent the unknown value uh, that you're trying to solve for. Okay. Now, of course, all this takes practice, but once you um, established a variable, 
the next thing we want to do is set up an equation, okay? We can't solve for a variable like x or y unless we have an equation. So we're going to use the information from the problem to set up an equation. And then the last thing we're going to do is solve that equation and answer the question. Okay, so this is just a quick uh, summary outline of how to approach, you know, generally um, any algebra or any math word problem. Okay, specifically algebra because we are talking about variables and the like. Now, with that being said, if you were, uh, you know, confused about what to do, maybe think about the problem in those terms. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can model the situation here. So Ben has these nickels and quarters. He has a dollar seventy-five worth. So maybe let's just kind of pay attention right here. I have some other stuff written down. So, you know, you can start off visualizing what's going on in multiple different ways. This is kind of a very simple way. Like, okay, he has some nickels, he has some quarters, and, uh, you know, the sum total of all these nickels and quarters is $1.75. But we're going to have to be a little bit more specific about uh, nickels and quarters here. And we're going to have to think about more information in the problem because we're going to have to establish a variable, okay? Now, uh, sometimes when you are looking for two um, values, two unknown values, you'll need two variables. But in this particular problem, we only need one variable because we know that uh, if we find the value of one, if we just double that, we have the other answer. So what am I talking about? Well, let's let x okay, uh, equal the number of quarters Ben has. Okay. Now the problem tells us, let's go back to the problem here, that uh, he has twice as many nickels as quarters. So if he has um, X amount of quarters, then he has 2X number of nickels, okay? So this is uh, kind of establishing our variables, okay? So we have a representation for the unknown values or the, uh, basically the things that we're trying to answer, which is the number of quarters and nickels, okay? So if we can so, uh, find out what X is, we can certainly answer what 2x is. Okay, but here, uh, nickels and quarters, uh, we have money here. This is not going to work for us, but it's just some sort of visual model of what's going on. But we have at least established uh, some variables. Okay, so now let's go on to the next part. And that is uh, when we're talking about money in any math word problem, especially um, algebra, okay, uh, when you're talking about dollars and cents, so here we know that the total amount of money we have is $1.75, okay? So here, this $1.75 could be uh, kind of, you know, interpreted as $1 plus 0.75 cents for some total of $1.75, okay? So a quarter, its value, we need to think about the value of a quarter, okay? We're going to need this in our equation is going to be 0.25 cents. So when you're talking about dollars and cents, okay, in a math word problem, you have to make sure that your uh, anything less than a dollar, okay, in value is represented by a decimal. Okay, so 90 cents would be 0 0.90 cents. So a quarter is 0.25 cents and a nickel is 0 0.05 cents. Okay. All right. So hopefully uh, this is uh, clear to you. All right, now that we understand how to think about uh, money, we have our variables. What we're going to have to do now is build an equation. And here is uh, kind of this model, uh, a general model of building our equation. Because Ben has nickels and quarters, we know that the value of the number of nickels he has and the number of quarters he has, the total value, is going to be the same as $1.75. So we're going to have to be very precise here and build ourselves a lovely algebraic equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So again, he has, uh, we said that um, Ben has X number of quarters. He has twice as many nickels as quarters, so that's 2X. So let's go ahead and talk about the actual value here. So if he has 2X number of nickels, okay, so let's suppose he had just one nickel. Well, what's the value of that? Well, one nickel is just going to be 1 times 0 0.05. You only have one nickel, so you have 0 0.05 cents, right? But he actually has 2X nickels, okay? So the value of that, how much money that is worth, is this many nickels, 2X times 0 0.05. Okay, so this is how much in nickels, okay, in terms of money value he has. 
How about quarters? Well, he, we uh, established that he has, or we're saying that he has X quarters. So in terms of money value, we have to multiply that by that, multiply that, excuse me, by 0.25. So this is how much money in quarter he had, quarters he has. And when we add these two up, he has a dollar seventy-five. Now I'm just going to uh, drop the uh, symbols here for dollars and cents. But here is our lovely equation. Okay, we want to think about this again. A typical type of um, math word problem, algebra word problem, dealing with money. Okay, so now at this point, really what it comes down to is your ability to solve this equation. We are talking about algebra. All right, now if um, if you didn't know how to get this equation, you might want to see if you can actually solve this. Maybe pause the video, see if you can actually do this. If you cannot solve this type of equation, then you need to work on solving a linear equation. This is basic algebra equations. A couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out with that. Also, I have full algebra courses, or actually full math courses, uh, in the description. You can check out my best instruction, pre-algebra, algebra one. I would probably, is, uh, probably suggest pre-algebra or algebra one, uh, depending on what level of math you're in, to learn how to do this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do next. But before we do that, I would hope that you do this next. And I'm talking about subscribing to my YouTube channel. This really does help me, but effectively, this helps me help others, okay? Because it helps me reach more people. Okay, I'm trying to grow my virtual classroom and uh, try to reach people that are interested in math. And uh, more importantly, okay, not any less important, but I guess uh, for me, uh, more urgently is to reach people that really struggle in math, okay? Uh, it's really a shame how many people are struggling in mathematics. It doesn't have to be that way. What people need is encouragement and clear and understandable instruction. Of course, you have to put in the effort, but these are the folks I'm trying to uh, reach. By you subscribing, it really does help me out. And make sure to hit that notification button to get my latest videos. Okay, so let's get back to the problem. And again, uh, what we have here is this equation. Okay, we, we know, set this thing up, we read the problem, we modeled the problem, we let um, we uh, assigned variables, uh, we built an equation. Now we have to put our algebra skills to work to solve this equation. And that's where you know we can use a calculator to make our life easy. Okay, so 2x times 0 0.05. So we're going to, in our calculator, just take 0 0.05 times 2. That's going to be 0 0.1. Now you're not going to write it as x uh, times 0.1. Remember, the number or the coefficient will always go in front of the variable. So this is going to be equal to 0.1x. All right, so x times uh, 0.25 is just uh, simply 0.25x. So now we uh, combine like terms. 0.1 plus 0.25 is 0.35x is equal to uh, uh, $1.75 or 1.75. Now to solve 4x, again, just use your calculator. All we have to do is divide uh, both sides of the equation by 0.35. And when we do this, we get x is equal to 5, okay? So does that look like a good answer? It looks like a good answer, but do not stop, okay? This is what I'm talking about. You have to read the question. I have seen this through many, many decades where students will get to this point. I mean, they're like just a rock star in terms of math, and then they just stop, okay? Because they didn't answer the complete question. And when I got to take off minus eight, they get very upset and they're like, what are you talking about? I did the problem uh, right. No, you did not answer the question. Remember the question is how many of each does he have? How many each uh, of each type, okay? Each type of uh, coin. So X is equal to five. We have to interpret the solution to the equation. Remember, we said that X was the number of quarters. Okay, so he has five quarters and he has twice as many nickels, or 2x. Uh, if, so if we know the value of x, 2x is the number of, ni of nickels. He has twice as many nickels. So therefore, he has 10 nickels. This would be the correct way to uh, write your answer. OK, so how do you get better in algebra word problems? Very simple. Uh, basically, you have to practice. Okay, but you, you can't really practice word problems unless you know the underlying algebra. Okay, so, you know, word problems is like the last step you want to do. The first thing you want to do is really get those basic skills down and build up. Okay, but uh, I'm going to tell you right now, 
if you're looking for an easy way to learn algebra, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to be the first to tell you, right? I've been doing this for decades. I've been studying math for decades. I made all the mistakes. There is no easy path. Or someone's telling you, I can teach you algebra in three uh, days, or I could, you know, da, da, I show you. Listen, those, you know, people might get, um, be able to give you quick tutorials, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But if you really want to master and comprehend mathematics or anything else, you're going to have to put in the effort. Okay, so I'm just being honest here, but that's separate from your ability, your potential to learn this stuff because you absolutely can. You just have to put in the effort, okay? Of course, you need that clear and understandable instruction as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.